Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome to the Staff Gymnasium, home of your Brockton Boxers, where tonight it is the championship game of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament, a rematch of a game that took place earlier in the season between the Boston College High School Eagles and the Brockton Boxers. I am big game. I'm not big game. I'm <laughs> Mad Dog Matt You're Nelson, mad dog. joined alongside my <laughs> broadcast partner. He is big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, there's two players on the court right now that have made an impact every time we've seen them. That's number three, Travis Evie, and number 15, Carl Pierre, both of the Eagles. Yes, and that's going to be the thorn in uh, Brockton's side this evening, unless Brockton can somehow neutralize them. Now, you can't keep them from getting so many points, but maybe you can um, keep them from getting a few less than what they normally get. But what Brockton has to do, Brockton has to um, make their shots. They have to make more of their shots to stay with this high-powered Eagle team. Emil Ferbler coming down with the rebound. Boston College High School is wearing their away maroon jerseys, white and gold trim. Brockton home whites, red and black striped down the side. Boxer decal on the short leg. Foul going to be called against number 24, Troy Sammons. Yeah, he was holding the... Um, the boxer. Out of bounds off of Demarge Taylor. Travis Evie with it, still scoreless, 45 seconds in. Another thing, they, they, they can't leave Travis e Evie's open for that shot. Whoever's guarding him must stay with him the whole time. Evie from way downtown is good. That was just a good shot because it was somebody in his face. Abu Kaba with it now over to Nabil Ferbler. Three nothing Eagles on top. Ferbler for two is good. Yep, that's what the boxers have to do. They have to hit those jump shots. Spencer Riley, out of bounds. I believe Jordan Minor was the last eagle to touch it. Yeah, that was good defense. Looked like uh, could have been called a foul. It's like he, um, one of the Brockton players caught a piece of his arm. Etanosa Kungbor on the rebound, can't put it home. Jordan Miner coming down with it. He quickly gives it over to Evie. Yeah, Brock, Brockton's got to make those shots. Anytime they get inside close, they got to make those shots. Jordan Miner was fouled. Etanosa Kungbor called for the hold. To Riley, to nice Meyer, to Pierre for three, and it is no good. Troy Simmons called for the travel, couldn't keep his balance, attempting to grab the rebound. Exactly, he lost his balance and took a few steps. Good call by the referee. Marjay Taylor to Karan Harris. Harrison for ET. ET out to Ferbler. Ferbler backing up with it, resetting the boxer offense. Yeah, Ferbler had a good game in that first round of this tournament. Five on the shot clock, and Devi stepping out of bounds with the rebound. Will be a Brockton basketball. It'll be four seconds on the shot clock for Brockton. Is Brockton going to move quickly here. Four on the shot clock. Taylor driving inside, tripped up, no call. A fresh 30, Ferbler for three, no good. And 
head coach of the Eagles screaming that the shot clock violation should have been called after Brockton regained possession. Meanwhile, on the other end, Carl Pierre laying it up and in five to two the score. And head coach Bill Lofnane of the Eagles is beside himself over the shot clock. We're being told by the Mad Dog research team headed up by the award-winning director and producer Paul Mandeville that the head coach of the Boston College High School Eagles is correct. Yeah, that, that was definitely a, um, a reason for the Boston College coach to uh, be upset. Um, the referees missed the call. Good shot. Good shot. Out of bounds off of Abu Kaba. Four forty-two to go. Five to two. Eagles on top. Riley to Evie for three is no good. To join it. Meyer was fouled by E.T., his second of the game. I'll tell you, I, I like the way Brockton's hustling underneath the boys. They're fighting hard. And that's what they got to do. Dijon Glenn Darty replaces Etinosa Kunbor. Yeah, E.T. has to come out because that's his second foul early on in his game. There's only 4.33 left in this first quarter. Still early in this ball game. Riley for three, no good. Fighting for the rebound, tapped it to Abu Kaba of the Brockton Boxers. Kaba over to Demarge Taylor. Taylor to Karan Harris. Harris in for Glenn Darty, the big man spinning with it, unable to get the shot up cleanly. Kaba comes down with it off the glass and in Ooh, five nice. to four. Nice hustle by the Brockton big men. They didn't give up after that first miss. Fought for that second rebound. Paid off. Pierre Long, two, no good. Kaba coming down with the rebound. That was good defense on Pierre. He had to work for that shot. That's why he missed it. Taylor working his way inside. A little bit too low for Tijon Glenn Darty. Spencer Riley working against Kaba. He was fouled by Karan Harris. Rather, Abu Kaba called for the block. Miles Owens getting ready to come back into uh, come back into the game for the first time, rather. A couple of Brockton boxers also getting ready to come in. This BC team is a good free throw shooting team. So Brockton's gonna have to stay pace. When they get to the free throw line, they need to make their free throws. Precious Oko and Juice Harris both in the game for Brockton. Seven to four the score. Oko to Harris, Harris to Kaba. Kaba pump fakes, works his way inside, down low for Glenn Darty. Darty loses it, and out of bounds off of Brockton. Yeah, when Darty gets the ball in low like that, it's not to his advantage to start dribbling the basketball. He needs to go right back up, get a foul called. Because when a big man starts dribbling underneath like that, a little guy can come right underneath or someone can come right up and take the ball away from him. Out of bounds off of Carl Pierre. Brockton takes over. A lot of unforced errors early in this game. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Precious Oko to Juice, uh, to Abu Kaba rather. Kaba shot blocked away. Out of bounds off of the Eagles. Good defense right there on the Eagles. Oko thought about the quick shot being double teamed by Owens. And number 24, Troy Sammons. BC playing some tough Two defense out clock, front. Last second shot blocked away as the shot clock expired. BC turns it right back over. Carl Pierre couldn't 
come hey, up with up. Yeah, pass. Yeah, it looks like Eves put a little bit too much mustard on that pass for his teammate. I can really feel the t uh, intenseness out here on the court. Coco leaves it behind for Harris. Harris working his way inside, loses it. Glenn Darty taps it out to Precious Oko. Oko driving inside is fouled by Evie, who is called for the hold. Harris sending it long for Oko. Oko hard over for number 23, Tariq Yaya. Yaya loses it, BC High takes over. Again, good defense by BC High. They're making the uh, Brockton boxers work for their shots also. Beats, uh, Brockton has to find the open man Here in for Owens, two minutes to go in the first quarter. Seven to four, BC High on top. Troy Simmons fouled by Tijan Glenn Darty. Side out, side out. That was close. Good defense by um, Glenn Darty. Just got the um, arm or the wrist of the uh, BC player. Mike Vasile in for Troy Sammons. Evie driving inside. For Jordan Miner, spinning, shooting, no good. Ah, oh, come on. That was clean. Do we have this on replay? Let's see it right here. Glenn Darty with the big D. Okay, he might have got the arm a little bit. Okay. Referee had a better look underneath the boards than we did over here on the sidelines. But good defense anyway by Darty. Unfortunately, that's his second foul, I believe. And Coach Bowen knows that is going to give him a rest. Sonny Oak and Lola coming right, into the game. He replaces Glenn Darty. One for two at the line. Minor foul yet again. And Oak and Lola called for this foul, his first. Again, good defense. They, they made them work for the shot. They didn't make the basket. They're going to make them um, make the points on the free throw line. And unfortunately, BC, like I said before, BC High is a good free throw shooting team. Nevertheless, good defense by the boxes. One for two. Nine to four, the score. Eagles are on top. Kaba for three, no good. Oak and Lola tapping the rebound out of bounds, but off of Miles Owens. Brockton retains possession. Oko has his three blocked by Carl Pierre. Pierre for Evie, turns it over to Oko. Oko to Harris. Harris had to be aware of the guy coming up behind him. Yeah. It was Travis Evie who forced this one out of bounds. Good hustle by the boxes. 118 to go in the first quarter. Oko to Oko and Lola back to Oko, but it went out of bounds. BC High takes over. I tell you, Oko, number 35, he's really hustling out there. Since he's been in there, he's gotten involved in this basketball game. Nice pass. Minor down Ooh. low. Can't convert. Brockton takes over. A minute to go in a first quarter that has been defined by turnovers. Tariq Yaya for three is no good. Yeah, he should have followed that shot. Came right back here to him. Got to follow those shots. We heard that before the last two days. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Exactly. 
Yet another turnover, nine to four, 40 seconds to go. Tomashe Taylor getting ready to come back into the game. Okanlola okay, down travel. low, call for the travel. Marcinol Louis Charles also in the game for Brocken. Travis Evie now. About a half second difference between shot clock and game clock. Jordan Miner coming down with the offensive board. Counted and one off the glass. Wow, that was some effort there by the BC player. Number 35, he hustled on that play, wiggled his body around and, and got the two points. You'll see it right there, Eves going in. But Miner somehow the, the big man. Board. Yeah, Surrounded the, by boxers, he didn't know where the ball was. Exactly. And he makes the three-point play. Taylor to Kaba, eight seconds on the clock. Precious Oko. Oko to Louis Charles for Kaba. Out to Louis Charles, one second. Call for the travel was Louis Charles. As the buzzer sounded, there should be about two seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. I do not believe they will reset that. No. So the score at the end of the first quarter, 12 to four, BC high on top. Miles, a very lackluster first quarter that was defined by turnovers and mental errors. E exactly, but Brockton in that first quarter did a good job of keeping in check Eves and Pierre. That's why it's on, they've only got 12 points. So there's a small victory right there, keeping BC high to 12 points in that first quarter. Unfortunately, the boxers only have four points, Missed a number of shots, a lot of turnovers because of the good defense by BC High, but Brockton needs to start hitting some shots because to stay in this ball game, because right now that, I give them an eight for defense in that first quarter. Again, keeping the two, the two main guys in check. So BC High right now tripling up Brockton, 12 to four the score, second quarter. Oko leaves it behind for Kaba. Kaba down low, had it batted out of his hand. That gets a reaction from the head coach of the BC High Eagles. You can see it right here, goes in strong. And Ooh. it's all ball. Hmm. I thought it went off the, the Brockton player, but from the angle looked right there in the camera. But again, the ref had a better, better angle than the uh, camera. Carl Pierre. Pierre been very quiet. Out to Evie, Evie in for Miner. Miner banging bodies, able to float that one in. 14 to four, BC high on top. Yeah, they ain't got an answer for him yet. Kaba spinning with it off the glass, no good. Loose ball, Marcino Louis Charles throws it off of Kaba. Out to Taylor, now over to Oko. Oko called for the travel, yet another turnover for the Brockton Boxers. Matt just, Thompson. Excuse me, just too many turnovers for the Boxers. Matt Thompson getting ready to come into the game along with Nabil Ferbler. Like a seal over to nice Owens. Job. Owens short jumper, no Did good. Owens had it batted out of his hand. Dokin Lola comes up with a loose ball. And he's called for the travel. Now the first first rule of thumb, big man, when you get the ball on the defensive end, give you it give up. it right, right, give it right to the guard. Don't don't try to dribble it down the court. I, I know the adrenaline's going, but look for your guard. Thompson with it, over to Vasile. Vasile to Evie. Evie for three, no good. 
Calva coming up with the rebound. Marjorie Taylor gives it right to Carl Pierre. Pierre in alone. Two-handed slam, Carl Pierre. Boy, did you see how Pierre put on the Jets and just ran away from the defense and made it look easy. Kaba out to Ferbler. That was Pierre's first points of the game. Okanlola has his shot block, gets his own rebound, and turns around and puts the floater. An excellent second effort there by Sonny Okanlola. Yeah, nice job by Sonny there. He, he didn't get flustered by the first block. Got his rebound and put it up strong. Matt Thompson working his way in. Masil fouled on his way up by Marcinal Louis Charles. Yeah. Not a smart foul by Sonny. It's that two-handed slam. Almost yeah. effortless to get up to the rim for Carl Pierre. Yep, one of the few points he's gotten this evening. Fox has been doing a good job keeping Pierre in check. But usually when Pierre makes a defensive move, it's an automatic too, because he can streak down, especially if he steals it, streaks right down the court and puts it right in. Minor out, Simmons in for the Eagles. Out of bounds off of Brockton, yet another mental error for the boxers. Just too many mental errors in this first in this first half, um, Matt. Really, for both teams. Yeah, yeah. Carl Pierre working his way in. Floater is good. Couple wow. of bounces off the rim. Wow. That was a lollipop shot right there. High arc and it went, somehow went in the basket. Yeah, yeah, out to Ferbler. Ferbler to Taylor. Taylor out to Louis Charles, long two, no good, air ball. Matt Thompson coming down with the rebound. Boxers just can't buy a shot. Six points and we're in the second quarter. Evie working his way inside Whoa. that angle. He finds the bottom in the net. Yeah, that was a nice job by Evie adjusting to the defense. Ferbler wild shot, 21 to six Eagles on top. Finally, Marcinal Louis Charles able to get a Brockton basket. Yeah, nice Seems job like working First one in. in a long time. Yeah, long time, too long. Well, I tell you, Brockton's playing, they're playing pretty good defense. It's just like you said, you'll see this shot here. Got the rebound, rejected. Fox is still hang in there though and uh, make that shot. Carl Pierre at the charity stripe. Nine fouls already against the boxers. Here hitting his first, will get a second. Brockton needs to spend the next four minutes playing a little catch up. They don't want to go into the half down by really more than 15. Yeah, you're exactly right, Matt. They need a little streak right now, say six or eight points. They're playing pretty good defense. Marge Taylor, five on the shot clock. Tariq Yaya, pump fake, puts it up, no good. And as the shot clock expires, Brockton with yet another blown possession. Travis Evie in for Carl Pierre. Pierre short jumper is good. He is starting to warm up a little bit. Somebody for Brockton needs to start warming up. 
17 point edge and Demarge Taylor making the quick layup. Yeah, nice drive by Taylor. Evie with it, over to Thompson. Thompson, short jumper off the glass, no good. Ron Harris coming down with the rebound. He works his way inside off the glass, no good on the rebound. Yaya got all the way up to the rim and sure did. was unsuccessful in his attempt. Evie for three on the other end is good. 18 point edge for the Eagles. Yeah, that's his specialty. He's hit a couple of them like that this evening. Both him and uh, Pierre starting to warm up. Matt Thompson getting around a couple of boxers. Now Vasile for three is good. And the BC High bench is fired up. Yeah, the, everybody's starting to get into the act. Tenosa Kuhnboard down low is fouled. Good job by E.T. drawing the foul. See it right here, goes in strong, puts it right up and gets fouled. Troy Simmons called for that hold. Two, two at the line was Etanosa Kumbor, 31 to 12 the score. Carl Pierre with the ball now, driving baseline, stopping down low, is fouled by E.T., his third. And he's in a lot of foul trouble early. Yeah, he's playing tough this evening, but unfortunately, right there, you hit see the foul. And all of a sudden in the second quarter, Pierre has been a regular at the free throw line. Glenn Darty in for E.T. Glenn Darty also has two fouls against him. BC High now in a double bonus situation. And Pierre, one of two at the line, 32 to 12. A 20 point edge for the Eagles. Furbler with it down low for Glenn Darty. Fouled, counted, and one for Tayshawn Glenn Darty. Yeah, nice job by Glenn Darty to cut to the basket. The guard saw him cutting to the basket. You might see it right here. Did a nice job feeding him the ball, and he puts it up and in. Chance for a three point play right here. Glenn Darty, 6'5", only a sophomore. Wow. I didn't realize he was just a sophomore. Evie Floater bounces in and out. Out of bounds off of the Eagles. A minute 32 to go. Ron Harris. Fresh shot, shot clock for the Brockton Boxers. Sabin's coming in for Mike Vasile. Glenn Darty down low, losing it. Out of bounds off of BC High. I tell you, BC's playing some tough defense. I'd hate to see how many turnovers uh, Brockton has made in this first half. But it's because of the tough defense that uh, BC has uh, come out here this evening to play. Yeah, yeah, pump fakes over to Karan Harris. Harris to Taylor, his three is good. 32-18, it's a big shot, and Brox is only down by 14.
Glenn Darty comes up with the block. He's in against Evie, spinning. Picked up by Harris. And he was fouled on his way up. Troy Salmon's called for the hold. Good hustle by Glenn Darty right there on the steal. Took advantage of the mismatch on the height. And he's got them long arms. The second foul called on Troy Sammons. He comes out in favor of Mike Vasile. 43.6 seconds left. Glenn Darty called for the over the back. And that's his third. Abu Kabo will come in. Very frustrated Tejan Glenn Darty. Yeah, you can tell he's frustrated. Got his hands on his hips. He's going to the end of the bench. Lucille we'll missing his first attempt, hitting his second 15 point ball game. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Tariq Yaya. Yaya all the way across for Ferbler, his three no good. Kaba coming down with the offensive rebound. Ferbler should have followed that shot, came right back to him. Reveal Ferbler. Samarje Taylor now, his three is no good. No movement, there were two boxers in the direction that that rebound went, and not one of them attempted to get the rebound. Two Wait. seconds, Ferbler last second, three is no good. And that's the half, the score 35 to 18. BC high on top, Miles, what did you see and what does Brockton have to do to catch up? Well, Brockton has to start making some shots to catch up. They did an excellent job in that first quarter playing good defense um, and kept BC to a, to a real low. But right now we're gonna go to uh, Matt with uh, the coach for BC, Matt, go ahead. We're here with uh, BC High head coach. Coach, you're up big at halftime, 35 to 18. What's the strategy going into the second half? Do you keep the pedal on the gas or do you hold up a little bit, let some reserves get in, even out the playing time? Well, I, you know, we might be up some points right now, but I, I think we left a lot of points on the floor that half. Uh, our defense bailed us out the first period and a half. Um, we we got to start getting some more loose balls and I think, you know, just tighten everything up a little. There were a lot of turnovers for both teams in that first half. What do you tell you guys to keep them coming on one side of the court and on the other side to uh, start curving them a little bit? Well, I think we were trying to make the home run. Instead of just throwing a good pass, everybody's trying to make the great one. You know, we throw enough good passes, they become great plays. 35 to 18, the score at halftime. BC up on top of Brockton in the championship game in the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort... Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything! Oh, sorry. Go along, son! It's always worth it. Whoa! Master! The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Boston College High School Eagles and your Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, 35-18 for the Eagles coming into the second half, but the story of that first half was the unforced errors, the turnovers for both teams. Exactly, a lot of turnovers in that first half. The reason why it's 35-18 is because Brockton just really couldn't hit, couldn't get in the groove and hit some shots. They got a little gun shot in that second quarter after some blocks. 
by this tough, tough BC high um, defense. But Brockton has to make shots. Um, their defense has been pretty good. They, they kind of shut down um, the star guard there, Eves and um, Pierre, the forward, in that first quarter. But then they started warming up in that second quarter. So basically, Brockton has to make some shots. Speaking of Evie, he was fouled on his way in by number 25, Nabil Ferbler. Lots of foul trouble for the boxers right now. Yeah, F Ferbler is another key to this Brockton scoring attack. He needs to start hitting some shots. Evie fouled by Karan Harris. The second half off with a bang, 21 seconds in, and the boxers have already committed two fouls. Jordan Miner laying it up, no good. Abu Kaba coming down with the rebound. Kaba out to Damage Taylor. Taylor to Karan Harrison for Etinosa Kunbor. E.T. up off the glass, couple of bounces off the rim and in. Yeah, nice job there. They fed the big man and he made the shot inside. Nice call right there, offensive foul with the elbow. Number 22 for the BC High. Got a little bit too aggressive when he had the basketball. Called for the charge, that is Spencer Riley. He comes out of the game. E.T. off the glass, no good. Evie coming down with the rebound, sending it long for Miner. A little bit too far. Brockton takes over. Now see, on that BC turnover, this is where Brockton needs to take advantage. On BC's turnovers, they need to come back down and put the ball in the basket. 35 to 20, Brockton down by 15. Taylor over to Harris. Harris for ET driving baseline. Followed by Jimmy Tan. Yeah, E.T. Um, took advantage of uh, his defense and went right around the uh, ball player, and he had to foul him. Double foul! Out to Demarge Taylor. Taylor for Abu Kaba. Counted in one for Abu Kaba. Nice ball movement by the boxes. Find the open man. He went right to the basket. You'll see it right here on the replay. Miles Owens right there called for the block in. Head coach Bill Lafnane called a timeout. And, and that's a good timeout for BC. They don't want Brockton to get any confidence going. So uh, coach calls a timeout with 6.35 left in this third quarter and Brockton's cut it down to about, uh, what's it, 13 points? 35-22, Brockton on a nice little run trying to claw their way back into this game. So the winner of this game will be named the champions of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. A little bit later we'll be talking to immediate past president Brent Warren and former New England Patriot Brent Warren of the Brockton Rotary Club. Again, it's the third period right now for Brockton. Free throws are critical even in the third period with 6.35 on the clock. And Kaba, three points the old fashioned way, 35-22. It's a 12 point game. Evie losing his foot and getting back up. Going down again and that was all ball. Abu Kaba should not have been whistled for the foul. Well, tough call right there for the box, good defense. Camille Farbler called for the hit, was nowhere in the area. Jimmy Tan coming in now. Owens is blocked cleanly. Pierre hitting the ground, giving it to Troy Simmons. His short jumper is good. Abu Kaba turned it over to Evie now to Bill Farbler on the other end of the court. Ferbler for a long three, no good. Etanosa Kunbor coming down with the rebound out of bounds. 
off of BC High. Yeah, Brockton dodged a big bullet on Eve Steele at the other end of the court. And Eves is still complaining to the ref that he was fouled. Let's see it on the replay. Nice There's steal. There's a turnover right there. I don't see a foul. I see offensive um, contact, but great defensive play by the boxes. Ron Harris down to Ferbler. Ferbler to Harris. Harris over to Taylor. Taylor starting and stopping, giving it down to Kaba. Now E.T. down low in the paint, off the glass and in. Nice job by E.T. to control that basketball. A lot of hands were in there. Travis Evie thought about the three. Now over to Miles Owens. Owens down low for Sammons. Out to Jimmy Ten, short jumper, no good. Karan Harris coming down with the loose ball. Boxers can use a couple of points right here. Karan Harris, jumper, no good. Jimmy Ten being assaulted, able to get the ball to Evie. Evie down Ooh, low nice for pass. Sammons, and his layup is up and in. Nice pass by Evie's. Threaded the needle in there in the middle. Albert Cabo, pump fake, works his way inside, kicks it out to Ferbler. His three blocked by Carl Pierre. And now Travis Evie has it for the Eagles. Yeah, he needs to get that shot off a little bit quicker because they were burnt the last time they, uh, they met BC on those um, block shots. Owens down low off the glass and in. Nice ball movement by uh, the Eagles. Nice movement without the ball by Miles there. Ferbler with it, setting up the boxer offense. Sit down to Taylor over to Harris. Harris to Kaba. Kaba working his way in, spinning off the glass, no good. Gets his own rebound, being assaulted by Simmons. Jump ball called. And it will remain a Brockton basketball. Jerry's Harris coming into the game, as well as Tariq Yaya. Kind of disagree with the decision by Coach Bowen to take out Nabil Ferbler. I think he's been one of the more effective boxers on the floor thus far in this game. Yeah, maybe he feels that uh, he needs a rest, a quick rest. Taylor for three, no good. Jordan Miner coming down with the rebound for the Eagles. And that's what Brockton can afford, cannot afford to do is take one shot, not get a rebound or a second attempt. Pierce starting and stopping for three is good. You can't let that man start heating up here in this uh, third quarter. Pierre, Brockton did a good job in that first quarter, keeping him and Eves quiet. 19 point ball game, Drees Harris stopping and popping, no good. Miner coming down with another rebound. Owens down low, losing it. Out of bounds, Brockton basketball. 44 to 25 the score. Brockton yep. trying to claw their way back in, but BC High hitting the big shots. Yeah, Brockton right now has gone to a little funk. They, they can't hit their outside shots. Owens called for the hold and a couple of boxers coming in. Tejan Glendardi, Sonny Oak, and Lola. Abu Kaba and Etenosa Kunbor will take a seat on the bench. That is the third foul on Miles Owens. Miles Owens is another key player for this BC High team. Dimaje Taylor, 314 left to go. Yaya down low looking for Glendardi out of bounds off of the Eagles. Worth mentioning, Coach Bowen is wearing a new sweater tonight. Yeah, I, I went over and told him, very nice sweater. He said he got it for Christmas. <laughs> so he's, wearing, he's wearing it against better judgment. Yeah, Coach Bowen's a little superstitious about what he wears. He likes his old school sweater that he always wears. And um, I don't took know, a, he said it took a lot for him to uh, switch sweaters. His, his old sweater, <laughs> no offense, didn't do so well against the Eagles last time around. Travis Evie 
for Owens. Owens to Minor, Minor to Pierre. Pierre to Evie. Evie driving baseline, blocked and fouled, I believe, on Jerry's Harris. Well, I tell you, Brockton's making Evie's work for his points. They did a nice job there, Dean up as he tried to drive to the basket. You might see it right here. Tariq Yaya right there, number Good 23. Defense. Yeah, there was body contact. Marcus Azor coming in, replacing Demarge Taylor. Smallest guy on the court. Yep, Marcus, Bye. he's out there now. He needs to protect that basketball and play hard. With this quick BC High team, you cannot get out there and play nonchalant. You got to play with a lot of intensity. And right there. He lost his glasses and they broke. a lens out of his glasses. And Brockton going to be forced to call a timeout. So Azor playing blind. Timeout called by, I believe, BC High, actually. Precious Oko going to replace Marcus Azor. Yeah, his glasses were just busted up. No yeah, call. They've seen, they've seen better days. 49-25 back underway here. Tariq Yaya. For three, Oko is good, 49-28. Ooh, almost a steal there by Glenn Doherty, using those long arms. Minor down low, counted in, one. Oko gonna be called for the block. Minor at the line, trying to get three points the old-fashioned way. Unsuccessful, Sonny Oak and Lola brings the ball out of bounds with him. Ooh. Almost looked like there was some offensive um, contact there. He put his left arm out there, no call. Evie for three, no good. Pierre coming down with the rebound and turns it over. Now Jerry's Harrison alone. Off the glass and in. Nice job there, Brock Brockton, getting the ball down quickly for the easy two. The seal from way downtown is good. Yeah, that's his second one from downtown. Those will kill you right there. You get the guy coming off the bench. Big man at that, hitting the big three. 54 to 30 the score, 24 point edge for the Eagles. Yeah, those are momentum killers. Yeah, yeah, called, uh, drew the foul. The fourth foul on Miles Owens. And that was a big fourth foul with one minute, two seconds left in the third quarter. Come on, you gotta make those, you gotta make them easy gimmies. Evie calling for the ball for three, and it's good. Hey, he's wide open. He, he can make those. When he's wide open, that's money. And immediately pointing at Carl Pierre. Thanks for the dish. Nice feed right there to um, Glenn Darty. Now Pierre driving down low. Reverse layup, wow. and it's good. BC High has caught fire, and that's a very dangerous thing. Yes, it is. Shot clock off, Precious Oko holding on for last shot. I don't know about this one. If I'm Brockton, I'm trying to get as many points in as fast as yes. I can. 
Tariq Yaya. Backing up, three seconds on the clock. Out of bounds off of PC High. Brockton will have to get it in and shoot as fast as humanly possible. And even two seconds on the clock. Yeah, too much time wasted. They should have shot the clock with about 15 seconds. Glenn Doherty off the rim. No good. The third quarter has come to an end. The score, 59-32. to 32. BC high up by 27 points. And there's eight minutes to determine the champion of the 2016 Rotary Holiday Tournament. Miles, right now, it doesn't look like there's much hope for Brockton, but we've seen them go on runs before. Yes, we have, but the problem is they're playing BC high. And that third quarter was BC High's best quarter of the evening. Brockton more or less uh, kept them in check in that first quarter. BC started to warm up in the second quarter, and they just blew it wide open in the third quarter. Um, Brockton really doesn't have anything to answer back with this tough BC team. And the difference between this BC game and the, the last BC game was Eves and Pierre just dominated. This time around, it, it's everybody on BC's team, or at least five or six players that are contributing to um, this BC um, game right here, where Eves is, he's just starting to warm up a little bit. Pierre has been starting to warm up, but Brockton has basically done a good job with those two, but other, other uh, teammates for BC High has stepped up big time. And of course, BC High's defense has just rattled um, Brockton and, and uh, just disrupted their offense. Brockton with possession. Marcus Azor has fixed his lenses. Sonny Okanola to Oko for three, no good. Ooh, BC lost it, so that's a Brockton break. Brockton has a tall order right now. They need to score just about 90% of the time they, they come down the court. Natanosa Kumbor just wasted that 10% that Brockton had to not score. Sixty-one thirty-two, BC High on top. Riley and Tan getting ready to come back Ooh, in the nice game. Nice shot for the there. Eagles. By the little guy. Minor fouled on his way up. Riley Tan, and you can add Jamil Davis into that for the Eagles. You can see here on the replay. Nice pass. Good defense by E.T. Sixty-three to thirty-four now. BC high on top by a lot. Azor to Oko. Sonny Oak and Lola driving baseline. His short floater is good. Nice shot. Sixty-three there. to thirty-six the score. Here for Davis, for Riley, back to Davis. Blocked by Abu Kaba. Boy, that, that's a momentum killer right there. Brockton was playing some good defense. 66 to 36, 30 point edge for the Eagles. Riley fouled down low, and with that we will see number five, Noah Rothar. 6-2 sophomore guard. And the, the, another star play is coming out for BC High, Mr. Pierre. Someone that's been held mostly silent tonight. 
Yeah, most of his shots have basically been off defense. Sonny Oak and Lola coming up with the loose ball. Cobb off the glass and in. Great defense right there by the boxes. They need to come back and play some defense. So you just can't, you can't do that. Matt Thompson wide open on the other end. You can't do that. You don't have time to feel good about yourself playing some good defense and making a shot. You got to come back. Cobb fouled down low. You got to come back and play tougher defense. Even BC High now, they got their subs in there. They've been playing hard and running back straight. Even though the Brock, they gave up the points to Brockton, they came right back down quickly and made the two. Easy two at that. Sixty-eight to thirty-nine, the score. Jamil Davis working his way in, blocked away by Oak and Lola. And Lola for three, <laughs> not even close. We talked about it a little bit earlier, Miles. Oak and Lola is not a guard, nor should he pretend to be one. And the thing, what I don't understand, if you're a big man and you shoot that three or that outside shot, you of all people, the big man, should definitely go in and follow your shot. Marcel Louis Charles to Marcus Azor. Down to Oko, back to Azor. Oko down low, reverse layup is good. Nice job. Keep working, keep working. Jamil Davis working against Azor. Azor was walked right into a pick by Spencer Riley. Rothar for two, no good. Looks like Azor just can't hang with the much bigger guys on the court. He's not exactly built like a basketball player. No. He's long and lanky, but he's not tall. Jamil Davis up off the glass and in. Yeah, nice ball movement by this BC bench team. Jimmy Tan coming down with the rebound. Jamil Davis swatted away by Oak and Lola. I tell you, Oak and Lola, he's a beast out there. He's he, celebrating. And he hustles. <laughs> he was celebrating that block. He's down by 29 points. There's not much to celebrate. I guess he's celebrating his effort. Jimmy Tan down low, spin around floater is good. Hazard go, driving inside, fouled on his way up. You can see right here on the play, the guard was fouled for uh, Brockton High. John McDonald and Will Powers getting ready to come into the game for the Eagles. Marcus Azor, he's a junior. He's listed at 5'10". I don't know how no, much I, I believe that. I don't know. 5'10 in platform shoes, maybe? Yes. Now you're talking my era there, Mad Dog. The old school DJs in the newly printed ad book for Brockton High basketball. Yeah, I always like to support the uh, the Brockton High teams. Ten for three, and that's good. 
75-42. Marcel Louis Charles on the other end off the glass. No good. Oak and Lola coming down with the rebound. Shot will not count. You can Let see the big man take the three and hit. For the BC Eagles. As if they needed any more outside shooting power. The good news for Brockton is it looks like Evie and Pierre are both done for the day. Yeah. The bad news is they're down by 31 points. Whew. Oak and Lola 2-2 two two at the line. 45 points for the boxers. Wide open three for Rothard. No good. Oak and Lola coming down with the rebound. Where's the guard? Where's the guard? Azor for three, no good. 75 to 45 the score. Rothar called for the travel. Azor to Louis Charles, right off the hand of Rothar. Louis Charles turning the ball over now to Jamil Davis. Davis behind the back, down low for Powers. Out to McDonald. Powers turns the ball over to Abu Kaba. Kaba for Azor, lays it up, no good. Fouled on his way in. And we'll be at the line for two shots. Nice job by the boxes there. Playing tough D, and getting the ball out on the transition. And Azor will be at the free throw line again. We talk about it so often, Miles, the chance to play at these Catholic Conference schools, these private schools that can offer so much that the cash struck public schools can't I mean, and it ends up in a mismatch as Sunny Oak and Lola goes down and just like you said Matt I mean they can offer so much to the, to the kids in the community that this second, st second string team out here could be a starting team for uh, some high schools absolutely looks like Brockton could be one of them yeah I mean uh Th th these guys aren't letting up any points or any momentum for Brockton. They've really come in. BC High's really come in, done a, done a good job filling in for the um, starters. Seventy-five to forty-eight, the score. Jamil Davis. Working his way, finds a lane, swatted away by Azor. Yeah, nice job, nice defense by Azor. Living up to the 5'10 listed on the roster. Living up to the hype. We just need to get him in the weight room. Weight room and the cafeteria. Yeah, the weight room and the cafeteria. He's got some long arms. <laughs> just looking at his jersey, it looks about four <laughs> sizes too big. Azor with it now. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Rothar with it. Brockton not losing this tournament in the last pretty much ever. 75-48, the score is, looks like that will change this year. Jimmy Tan working his way inside, off the glass, no good. Davis punching up the rebound, no good. Oak and Lola coming down with it. 
Another turnover for the Brockton Boxers. Got to give it to the guard. Got to give it to the guard. Rothar wanted the dunk. He looked yes. over at the bench. <laughs> Couldn't get up quite just enough. Uh, he at least he played it smart. Oak and Lola off the glass and in under a minute to go. Brockton down by 27 points. 77 to 50 the score. Jimmy Tan jumper Ooh. is good. He likes taking that outside shot, Mad Dog. Oh, well, when you can make it, why yeah. not? I mean, he's got six points. Abu Kaba with it. About a second difference between shot clock and game clock. Azor to Louis Charles down low for Oak and Lola. Oak and Lola off the glass and in. And BC High is just going to hold it. Half-hearted effort for Nabil Ferbler. And the buzzer sounds. This game thankfully is over. 79 to 52, the final score. The Boston College Eagles able to defeat the Brockton Boxers. Brockton losing their first Rotary Holiday Tournament in at least the last seven years. Yeah, it's been a while for Brockton to come out in second place on this holiday tournament, but they had some tough competition this year. Um, BC High again did a job on Brockton in that third and fourth quarter. First and second quarter give um, Brockton High credit. They kept BC in check for the most part, um, but in that it, BC High was just a little bit too much for the um, Brockton boxers in that second half. Miles, it looked like every member of the Eagles was able to contribute from inside the paint and beyond the arc. Yeah, and that, that's a big thing. Ladies and this game is the last game. There was a lot of um, contribute play by the bench players as well as some of the other starters besides uh, Pierre and uh, Evies. They did a nice job um, covering them. So here we go to Matt. Matt, go ahead, it's, it's on you. We're here with Victorious head coach of the BC High Eagles. Coach, what does this victory do to set you up for the rest of the season and how, did, how were you guys able to pull away from Brockton? Well, one that sets us up very well because we know we can play with good teams. Um, we got hot at the right time. I think we made a couple subs, and the guys gave us nice boost, so we were able to continue working against scoring. Brockton was able to silence one of your biggest players in Carl Pierre. How did the rest of your team uh, make up for that? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's called a team. And you need it to, everybody needs to play and contribute, and I thought we got some great contributions off today. Final score, 79 to 52. The Boston College High School Eagles being presented with the trophies at center court. For everyone here at BCA Sports, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We'll see you in the new year. Superheroes? Just four brothers who hate bullies and love this city.